Okay, this is my latest circuit I want to share with you. It's a voltage regulator oscillator and uh, it's very simple. It's probably one of the most simplest oscillators I've ever made. Now it uses a TS2950 3.3 volt voltage regulator. You can get a 5.5 volt one and that also works. And that's this little device here. It looks like a transistor. It's in a TO92 package, uh, a coil and uh, an LED to see some light. Now in this uh, setup here, which is the most simplest form of it, uh, the voltage is quite sensitive really. It's quite important to run it between 1.35 and 1.5 volts. And this is to get this little device here to oscillate. So uh, that's the circuit there. Uh, and I'll show you it running. Now it's running away there. It's a nice bright LED. It's broad daylight here. And if you look at the prototyping board, there's only one little tiny package on there, which is that uh, voltage regulator and uh, the LED is connected across the, uh, the coil and the coil I'm using uh, it's just a, tw a 6 volt relay and I've got the uh, leads connected across the uh, winding of the coil and uh, that LED is lighting on the back spike now it's using 3.2 um, milliamps now we can jiggle this setup about a bit to make it less voltage sensitive so it will oscillate at a greater voltage range and also charge batteries and make it more efficient. Now we can do that by doing these modifications here. Now is what I've done is I've added a, a resistor here, I've used a 1.2k, uh, a variable here 1k, a 4.7 microfarad capacitor across the power rails and Changed the coil to a bifiler coil and obviously use the second coil to uh, go into a bridge uh, rectifier. Now we can charge a capacitor or a battery, and the negative of whatever you're charging, be it cap or a battery, connect to the negative rail here, like that. So that's the uh, more complicated setup, and I'll just jiggle that about here and set that up. Just bear with me one minute. Not easy to do with one hand but just bear with me and this is the small cap going across the power rails now we'll change this coil over to a big bifiler getting all mixed up here but oh there we go right is so what I've also done this is the bifiler coil and you can actually buy that ready-made as a coil uh, from a company in the UK called wires.co.uk it's twin twisted uh, enamel copper wire and it comes with the ends of the wire exposed so you can just solder some wires on the end and you've got a ready-made large bifiler coil and I've also uh, wired in a loud speaker in series with the with the with the the, the coil which is doing the back spike in here and the secondary coil from here runs into a bridge rectifier and then it's coming to this battery here which is charging that battery now that's the charge battery and it charges up quite quickly but what inter what's interesting is the actual power dr uh, current draw from the, from the uh, circuit it's less than 100 microamps now this is being measured across a 1 ohm resistor and this is uh, on volts so it's uh, 100, 100 microamps when I actually put it on the uh, uh, milliamp setting here on the, or, well, on the microamp setting I find I don't like putting meters in series really uh, with, with circuits because I seem to think that the internal resistors play you know they alter the circuit so when I can I always measure across a 1 ohm resistor but uh, it charges a battery quite good on such a low input current it's quite uh, quite interesting 
see if that flicks over to 1.6 in a minute. But it runs this speaker as well. So that's using energy. And this will also kick a pendulum as well. Do you know when you're running it at the three uh, milliamps, it'll run a pendulum that. But this is also interesting here as well. I want to show you what the standing voltage on the bridge rectifier is. If I take that off there, the output from the bridge rectifier is two volts. So that's got a good chance of charging a 1.5 volt battery. But what's interesting is the output from the actual voltage regulator without all this oscillation going on is uh, about 0 0.9 volts. So by uh, putting this by filer coil in there, going into this bridge rectifier and connecting the negative of whatever you're charging to the negative rail, boosts this output right up uh, I find that very, very interesting, that. But I've not really done any uh, tests with this yet because I already just built it. But I'm showing you what I've got for now. Okay. Thanks for watching.